Hey everybody, Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance. It's a windy Tuesday afternoon here. Probably gonna rain tonight, it looks like. Um, but common question that comes in every year, how deep should I be planting these beans? So I wanna give an example here. I've been out checking some fields um, and just trying to give you an idea of what we're looking for. So I'm gonna put this down. Hopefully we can still follow along with each other here. So what do you see here? What I see, we're planted down into moisture. So I like to take a, a scraper of some kind, with that up the uh, spackler, move the dirt to the side, okay? Move it sideways like this. That way you can slowly uncover several seats to kind of get an idea of where you're at. You, know, you take you take your knife and start flicking like this. All of a sudden you knock it out. You don't know how, how it's tucked in as well. So after that, I've got several beans here in a row. See right here, right here. First things first, we're into moisture. That's a good start. Number two, they're tucked in good and tight here. This one right here just barely covered up there. So I like seeing that. That's a good idea that number one, we're into moisture because if we don't put them in moisture, they're not gonna grow. Number two, they're tucked in good and tight. Good seed to soil contact. That also helps with uniform emergence. Probably more important on corn than on beans, but still important on both of them. Second, what's the depth? You know, for years, many guys were used to planting planting that drilling in beans. So some are on the soil surface, some are three inches deep. Now that we're planting beans, I like a uniform inch and a quarter, inch and a half. You know, depending on the conditions, maybe a little different there, but when you look at this, so I take my digging stick, lay across sideways like that, to then figure out. So this is just over an inch and a half to the, uh, to the top of the seat. So in many cases, this is good. Why does this matter? Well, typically the nodules on a soybean plant will start below the planting depth. So that's important to us because the deeper the, the, the soybean has roots, has nodules, the more it's insulated from the hot temperatures higher in the profile. Once the temperature gets above, I think it's 80 degrees, the nodules become less efficient at fixing nitrogen. So that's why it's important to do that. Now, some of you are going to argue, well, it's early, it's cool. We should be planting shallower so we have more heat. Soil temperature as well. Um, and seeing, hey, there's actually more heat deeper this year than there is shallower here. More uniform heat. So it's more consistent. So we're going to come up more uniformly that way. So I like being that range. Another reason, too, this is a nice work field here. Nice depth. I tried to dug around a couple different places here. Because they've worked the ground, they've taken out the corn stalks, no root balls to worry about. So it's all a very consistent inch and, inch and a half or so. But if you're no-tilling beans and all of a sudden you hit a bump or you, you run down top of that, that old corn row, now all of a sudden you go from that nice inch and a half depth right here to now you're planting an inch or less. That's going to cause issues with, with nitrogen formation later in the year. Probably even if we get into some dry dirt, like even here. You can look here, we have dry soil here, probably about the first, first inch or so. This has dried out. Now, moisture will come up overnight, it might help it, but there's also times where that moisture will go back away. As this seed's taking off and germinating, if it dries out, it will die. So we wanna keep moisture to it. That's why I make sure we wanna plant into moisture. Give ourselves a chance for this seed to imbibe the moisture it needs, take off and run, and come up uniformly. So, hope that helps. Looking good out here in the fields. Um, like I said, some guys are planting, some are not, and that's perfectly fine. You know, I'm not here to say that anybody should be pushing. I hope you didn't take my my notes out way that you're uh, that you're you're uh, behind if you're not in the fields. Don't take it that way at all. But I also know for soybeans, earlier planting tends to lead to higher yield potential. Now, biggest thing I want to be planted before May May 10th. That gives us a better chance there. Um, I had one uh, one jokester that followed up and said, hey, you know, my earlier video said we were ultra early. So the question was, are we now uh, getting just to, to early? Are we on the late side of ultra early? Where are we at? We're still on the early side of the planting window. You know, once we get to about the 25th of April, it's about the, the 10th of May. That's kind of our ideal window here. So maybe we're slightly early. We're certainly not late. So don't feel like you're behind if you don't have beans in the ground yet. Um, but when it's fit, put the beans in the ground. There's no point in mudding crops in. So if conditions are fit, soil moisture's right, I'd rather make sure the conditions are fit first. But we've got good soil conditions so we're not mudding things in. If that's all good, check the box and let's roll. Hope that helps.